Good evening, this is your Psychic LG reporting from the United Kingdom. Is anybody there? Knock once for yes, twice for no. Hello, hello, hello. It's 11.11 UK time. PM, heading towards the witching hour. We are going to delve deep tonight. This is a special show we are doing underground, live from Newcastle upon Tyne, and it's Insanity Night. Good evening, Lance. Good evening, Purple Girl, Lady Murph. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? In these crazy, crazy times, eh? I'll just get my coffee. What a day, guys. What a day. Isn't time going fast? <laughs> time is going really, really fast, isn't it? I'll just wait for people to come on. I don't know if I've gone live on YouTube yet. And welcome to all new subscribers on Twitch. Denise, Mariam, welcome. And all new subscribers on YouTube as well. How are you all doing? Hello there, Catherine. We've got YouTubers coming in now. Hello in South Africa, Massachusetts, Delaware. I want to say <clears throat> good evening, good morning, good afternoon to wherever you all are around the world. We are going to delve deep tonight. We're going to look into what's taking place now. And this is everything is about alien disclosure. I'm going to do, we be doing remote viewing. And I'm going to be talking about everything where we are at now and what's happening. In my knowledge, as a channeler and as a remote viewer, where we are at and what's happening and where we are going. Oliver Anthony, oh my God. If anybody hasn't heard of this guy, he's on YouTube. He's a singer. And I put the song in my um, community page on my community page on YouTube and on also on Facebook, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. I'm most croaky when I first start talking. And um you want to hear it. the words are so apt, so true, but what a voice. That guy is on fire. Good God, he needs a he needs a number one, that man. I love his voice. Um definitely a touch of country and western but um, check him out. He's called uh, Oliver Anthony. Incredible young man. You like his dogs? I've just followed him. I've just followed him there, Hazel Time. So um, it's where we are at at the minute, isn't it? It's what's going on in this world. And I'm not somebody who is, you know, massive into the intel thing. And, you know, like, um, I just know my knowledge of what the ETs tell is, the, the ETs that I channel and the remote viewing that I do. And um, so I thought with my psychic expertise and what I know, we'll just try and piece this together tonight. Normally I put something together, but I'm just going to go with the flow. And I sometimes think when we go with the flow, it's a better show. Do you know what I mean? Did he hit number one? Has he, has he, ha has he hit number one now, Rebel? Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, I had a black top on, then I had a silver top on, and I thought, you know what it is? I want to put a red top on today. Hiya there. Hiya there, Debbie. Rage and Rita, she's called, and my friend Debbie, lovely Debbie. And I just want to say a big thank you to all my um, moderators um, who do a great job, and it, the show wouldn't be them without them. We all come together and I will do some healing before we start tonight because I think you all need it. I think we all need it. And for anybody who's new who's coming on the show, um, I invoke all the angels in and um, you can write the name in the comment section if you want. Um, if you yourself or anybody, any person, any any being, <laughs> um, that's where the world's going at the moment, um, any pets, anything, and you will receive the healing, okay? Yes, um, Rage and Rita. Soon, uh, Debbie, keep Rage and Rita. Debbie sent us the song, and that's the song that I shared. Amazing. I think you'd like this stooge. 
it's a really good song. So yeah, so um, we're going to start. How are you all doing? It's crazy, isn't it? Have you been looking forward to this? Oh my God, Sunny Look in Twitch. The dog died, wife left crying in, in there. I'm so sorry. It's so dreadful. They're like children. God bless you. If you if you write their names, your your wife's name in the comment section, and they will receive some healing tonight, and it's for grief as well. Everybody's having a tough time either with themselves or their kids or the 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 anybody and all the loved ones. Everyone's worried at the moment. Really, it's just it's so heavy. And this is what this community is about. It's about we're all coming together. And I always say it's a bit like coming to a spiritualist church where we all join hands. And I don't know if anyone's been to a spiritualist church. You know, they're fantastic. Um, and you sing a prayer. And, you know, then the medium normally comes on and gives messages. And I've done the spiritualist churches local in my area over the years. And I, and I was doing gigs. I was about to go into the halls and I, I suffered greatly um quite a few years back with anxiety and panic attacks so I, I stopped going onto the holes and um it was social media what changed everything for us because like I say I'm just the girl what talks to the wall <laughs> and talking about that I'm there's new um podcasts coming out soon and it's going to be the girl talking to the wall so watch for them coming okay so let's start We're going to talk about the fires tonight because I think it's all entwined with what I'm going to be talking about, okay? This is decaf coffee, by the way, guys. I've got a lovely friend, client friend, coming here tomorrow morning. And um, he's going to measure up. He's going to measure up in my garden for my cattery. I'm having a... Gina is going to um, build as a cattery in my garden so my little baby's can't escape the garden and they can still get the fresh air so I'm really excited about that okay like Shirley Valentine yeah and anybody who hasn't seen the <laughs> the only difference is Shirley Valentine runs off with a Greek bloke doesn't she and she goes to Greece well she goes off to Greece with her friend and then finds a Greek bloke and names her husband and that you'll not find me doing that <laughs> but um yeah that's what Shirley Valentine did and she just talked to the wall and I've always talked to the wall. I'm just Shirley. So you can write the names if you, whoever needs healed in the comment section of the stream or afterwards in the, um, on YouTube and you, or on here on Twitch and you will receive it. Okay, let's get my bell. <coughs> <coughs> A lot of people seem to be needing healing for their animals tonight. And at the minute, there's a lot of people losing their pets. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to check this out. You talk to your cat all day, Jessie. That's nice. Okay. Right, let's start. This is for healing in the healing circle and we can get true answers. I invoke Archangel Michael, I invoke Archangel Michael, I invoke Archangel Michael. I invoke Archangel Gabriel, I invoke Archangel Gabriel, I invoke Archangel Gabriel. I invoke Archangel Raphael, I invoke Archangel Raphael, I invoke Archangel Raphael. I invoke Archangel Uriel, I invoke Archangel Uriel, I invoke Archangel Uriel. I ask my faithful spirit guides, Jed, White Buffalo, Running Star, Lady Direwolf, E to I, Little Bee in the Flight, Ra, any Galactics who would like to come through tonight, like Shola, Ashtar, Valen, anybody who would like to come through, 
Jazz, remember jazz? And there's many more that I channel who would like to come through. I've also got Zacha. He's a little insecticide bean. I work with him a lot. He might come through. Who can give us true answers tonight to what the blinking heck is going on? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> with love and light, love and light, love and light. They're laughing, they're laughing. You've got to have humour. So be it. This circle of cast. This circle of light is casted. So be it. Should I say? Went backwards there, didn't I? Amen. Shola, a Palladian woman that I channel. Just in case anybody didn't know who Shola was. You've got a lovely fat hedgehog in your garden. How cute. You can feed them dog food, you know, or cat food. Amen. Okie dokie. Does Mike need healing, Debbie? Or is it, are you talking about my microphone? Right. Let's start. I had a more strange coming over my house last night, but it was it was actually like I was actually talking to a lovely lady yesterday. Um, she wants to be booked back in actually, and she was talking about I don't know where she said she was from. She might be watching tonight actually. Um, that there was a loud crash and banging of thundering, and I was and I was like doing the cards for her, and I says, "Oh yeah, that's right." I, you know, it was definitely something odd because there's something odd going off there up in the atmosphere to do with all this weather, strange weather at the minute. Last night, it's never stopped raining over here. It's never stopped raining. In fact, it's been like a jungle. Um. There was this strange noise in the sky and normally would say it was thunder, but it didn't sound like thunder. It was really, really weird and it actually left us a little bit nervous. There's a lot of people who haven't got rain, but there's a lot of people who've got too much rain. Everything's out of imbalance, everything's imbalanced at the minute. So, and I've had it before, it's like a crashing in the atmosphere where it shakes the, the ground. And we don't get earthquakes. So I'm going to do some scanning at the moment. And uh, I've got my crystal ball. Anybody who's new coming in, I'm a scryer. Um, but it was very spooky last night over here. And to be fair, I think it's been spooky every night since the lockdowns. I don't know what you guys think. But there's definitely been a shift here. I feel like I want to go really woo-woo tonight. And remember, this is my take on it. This is my take. I've never lived a, would you say, a normal life. I've always had some form of connection with us being a, a medium. I've always had some form of connection of something which is out of this, vis this visible light. And it comes to, after, you know, years and years living on this planet of connecting with spirit and angels and that at some point it stands to reason that I'd start telecommunicating with the the star beings and I've talked about this before the first star being I had connection with was Ashtar Command and he just came it was a lovely Sunday afternoon and I was sitting in here and I was waiting for a client coming it was well before the lockdowns well before all the craziness and like it just went all misty in my in my kitchen, and the next thing it just sort of burst through. It was as if like he was sort of coming through like beam me up, Scotty. It was definitely like beam me up, Scotty, and he was standing there all gallant with blonde hair, very tall, with his sort of space suit on, and he goes, "Hello there, I'm Ashkar Command." Come on, do you know what I mean? And I was like thinking, "Am I going down the twist? It doesn't seem like spirit." And he goes, and you said, I'm not in spirit. I'm telecommunicating with you. And he says, I'll start coming in dreams and I'll start showing you what's happening. And I goes, okay then. And, you know, this went on for a few weeks and then it just blew my mind. And ever since, it was about 2007 that started to happen to us. 
and then it's then I started to channel them but then they they came in astral everything's been in astral by the way but then I'm going to question what is astral so what astral is is when you go to sleep at night time you come out I believe that you come out of your body and you can go out there and have a nib about have a nib about and um, each and every one of us do this. We leave our bodies at night time and we can go astral traveling. And I started to realize that there was, you know, more going on than meets the eye. And I've always been into ETs and stuff like that. Uh, being a military, born on a military camp. My mum and dad served in the Cold War. And uh, my mum and dad have had extraterrestrial experiences. My dad was working on the radar and uh, they were in like secret military and that in the RAF and you're going back the Cold War you know like with Russia and all of that and um, so I've always had these odd experiences growing up and I've never I wouldn't say like coming like background you know very sort of Christian Catholic but then my, my dad was an atheist at the time my mum came from Catholic background because my, my grandma was from the I from Ireland Irish ancestry so it was basically um we've always believed I've always believed in Jesus you know I've always been very sort of spiritual that way but they never rammed it down my throat um it was just something in the family my nana was very spiritual my grandma was very spiritual but it was um a case just like everybody normal you know you had your Christmases your Easter's and stuff like that but when it come to like say summer holidays and that my mother used to sell Tupperware this was going back in the 70s we we're just talking about that the other day I love Tupperware can you still get Tupperware used to, she used to have like the Tupperware parties so she used to leave me and Paul with my dad in uh, hot summer nights and he had this old Zephyr Zodiac you know like the old big sort of catalog you know like the massive cars from the the 70s um and we'd go off and we'd go UFO hunting. And he'd say, come on, kids, let's go UFO hunting and jump in the car. And he'd be like playing his country western music. You know what I mean? He liked that. Glen Campbell and all of that. And what often I've seen the stuff in the, in the sky and that was really exciting. Growing up, I actually have done a, a video on it. And it's, it's in my library on YouTube. So if you want to check it out, it's about contact and contact I've had. Um, but... So over the years, I've been prepped for it. And they say that if you've had contact, it usually comes hand in hand that it's happened to your parent or it's happened to your grandparents. So is there anybody in this audience tonight where you feel it's happened to you? And then you need to ask yourself, did it happen to your, grand your, your mother or your father or your, your grandparents? Your, Katie Green in the audience. Tupperware, oh my... Dad had a Zephyr and always flash my dad. Oh, bless. So, it's a, obviously you've, have, you've had a lot of um, experiences. And it usually comes hand in hand. So, I just think that there's more to us than us being physical. And I think that it's a soul connection with these extraterrestrials. And I think that I'm now even starting to question... I know we've been labelled as human, but I do believe that we are the hybrids. I really, really do. But this that's in body and flesh. But our souls, I do believe, are connected with these extraterrestrials. And because everything's heating up at the minute, and it's, you know, the, the governments have always denied, you know, there's there's no evidence. I mean, they call it aerial phenomena now, don't they? They used to call it UFOs. But now all of a sudden, there's a this hype happening. It definitely runs in families, doesn't it, Sunflower Empress? It definitely does. So there's a hype happening now. And they're pushing it. You know, we've got the hearings. We've got all these whistleblowers coming forward. And But there's also a lot of odd events taking place on this planet at the moment as well. You've got... I'll just put that down for a minute. You've got... All these strange, bizarre fires taking place. And I personally question, is it natural? Yeah, and I, I know you're on the same wavelength as, you know, I am. 
you have to comment on the link what you think but I just think that I don't feel for one minute that these fires are natural okay so what I feel very strongly is that this has been going on for a very long long time so you need to ask yourself why the government in the they're pushing it now in the media and they never did they never never did because they know that it's it's time's running out they know that stuff is going to come out you're not talking about your blogs down the street here you're talking about a lot of people in these ufo hearings okay where they're like high top military you know where they've signed a secrets act because if when you're going to the military you've got to sign a secrets act my mom and dad signed a secrets act and my dad is only talking to me about it now my mom and dad you know they, they take it really serious so these people have come forward with all this information so it's not like they're making it up it's not like it's just anybody for anybody making it up my understanding is i don't believe that everything is all skipping in the roses with these extraterrestrials i do believe that there's bad and good but i don't believe that they're here to take over the the world they are working through us they would have done it by now they were going to invade but i'm questioning tonight what is coming and is it a real event or a false event and this is what i'm going to be looking into tonight this is definitely what I'm going to be looking into tonight. So, we are spirit beings in a meat suit. And I do believe that our spirits are a lot larger than our bodies. And I, when I say that is, I do believe a lot of us could be in parallels. So, you could be operating somewhere else in another humanoid body or whatever. Either on this planet or somewhere else. My understanding is that the tech, it's all about greed and technology, why they've held it back. Everything is about gold and money and greed. And there's a big split in reality at the minute on this planet. A massive split. But being a medium for all the years I've been, and my experience of what I feel tonight, and I never thought I would be sitting here having this conversation with you. There is something very not from this earth of energy which has taken place over the last matter of a couple of months, which has now taken place on this planet. So it's as if there's events, there's real events taking place, okay, like the fires and maui and all over the place but i'm actually questioning are they being set off on purpose and it's all about technology that we have had held back from where everything's about weaponry and technology my dad is disclosed stuff to me that back in the 60s i do have some paperwork of the the base where this secret base where he was at and um it looked like something very futuristic back then in the 60s so you can't tell me that the, they've stayed stuck from the 60s they've advanced it's as if it, they were pushing and i mean in the 60s was it 69 or something was it 69 or 70 apparently they went to the moon yeah um and then all of a sudden it just stopped after that they did a few more things and then it stopped why did it stop question all of this it's all about money everything's about money 1969 the only reason i know that is because my brother was born and my brother was my dad was bottle feeding my brother my mother had gone to bed because he wanted to sit up and watch the moon land and that's my dad and then it came on this is one step for mankind and paul went uh, and burped with his bottle and um 
it's a funny joke that we have in the family and that's what Paul did, my brother. But um, I just think that we're going to be witnessing within the next year or so, you know, man going onto, the, onto Mars. And it, it's a joke, really. And the reason why I say it's a joke is because they're already bloody there. Now, that's my take on it and that's what I see. And I'm feeling it's as if that it's all happening out there. And we're talking space force and everything. There's a lot of astrological things going on there, Patricia. And um, there's a lot of shocks which are going to take place to do with the way the planets are. You know, we've got all these retrogrades and that. So it's going to unearth everything. You know, it's bringing everything to the forefront. Everything has been bursting out of the soil. So there's definitely weaponry going on here. Um, they've held it back for many different reasons but it has been also it's not just weaponry with this technology they have far advanced technology to do with med beds and and I never believed in the med beds I did not believe in it right I've got to say something or feel it before I believe it until I read for a super soldier personally read for a super soldier and he told me what was going on and what had happened to him and I could tell that he was telling the truth you know I was personally working with him so that is happening that's all being held back but there's all this different technology all this quantum technology to come in so my understanding is that the moon's full of cities Mars is full of cities um, and it's like heavy traffic out there they do trade in space. Um, it's a bit like Star Trek. So what they do with us is they just drip, drip, drip in the technology to make money. You know, like the next new iPhones, the next new this, the next new gadgets. To keep us happy. Little do you know what's actually going on there up in space. It's like, what's the dark web? don't go there it's the dark web you don't know what's going to happen our internet's a slice of the cake of what is actually out there what is actually out there and it's i wouldn't say wi-fi because they've gone advanced far more than that but they're telecommunicating from planet to planet you know and one if this all came out we could be FaceTiming somebody on Mars or on the moon. That's the kind of technology what's being held back from where. And that's nothing. There's, there's more than that. There's, you know, holographic technology, you know, holographic transporting people about. So everything is about manipulation to make the money. Yet, my understanding is that there'll only be a handful or a certain few people on earth will know of this, elites, whatever you want to call them. I don't really like calling them that. But, because they're not really elites. Not really but these people will have this ability to do this, to use this technology. And it's a control thing. They've had we in like this sort of prison, I believe, like this prison planet. And because we are ascending, we are becoming far too switched on now. And because of the technology we've got with the iPhones and all the equipment we've got now, we can catch these things on camera and we can do amazing things. And basically it's like, it's spinning back on them. They don't know what to do with one now. It's not the ATs. But this protocol up there, this protocol up there, you know, it's, um, and we're cleaning up here on this planet. And at the minute, there's a massive, large battle going on in the US to do with politics. 
But, you know, again, I, I believe everything's a distraction. Because you've got people dying on the streets. You know, you've got people homeless. You've got people starving. You've got, you know... Because of this underworld, of this disgusting behaviour with elites and criminal activity with different groups, escorting and doing things with little ones, trafficking, all this different stuff, what's going on. And we're not supposed to talk about it. Why aren't we supposed to talk about it? Because you get censored if you talk about it. Because they don't want it out. And all these big corporations are all covering it. But are they covering it because they're part of it? Or are they covering it because they're scared of something above them? I, my understanding is that man's the problem. Man is the problem. And we're being so tested with our faith. So the beings that are channel, they don't want to intervene with our culture when it comes to religion and stuff like that. They can't do that. This, this protocol there, they, some of them do walk amongst to it, and I've met some of them. You now you're probably saying, oh, well, she's just saying that. She's just making it up. But I believe, with my hand on my heart, that I've met some of these beings. And I think that when you push and push and push this, you realise that they possibly have always been here. But we're just realizing it now. Some people are seeing the demonic, but do you not think that the extraterrestrials could think we're like that? All these nasty people doing what they're doing? Don't think for one minute that it's extraterrestrials who are doing this with these kiddies and trafficking them. It's um what happens, and when I've said this before, when I've talked in my other video about what I believe Mars is Earth and Earth is Mars. Okay. We only know what we know because of what we've been told. And what is a label? It's only a label. Are we human? Are you human? Only because you've been told you're human. I've talked about that before as well. You, have, you get to the stage where you question everything. When you come out of this matrix, you, you understand, like, what is it? What's it all about? Where are the hybrids? There's good and bad in every race. So I've never gone into, like, oh, the reptilians are bad and the greys are bad. There's good and bad in every race. The problem we've got at the minute is what Michael Talbot's put here in the audience on YouTube is CERN and HARP, what they're controlling. But I believe there's more than that. And I'm going to be scrying into the crystal ball tonight. So when I've talked about Earth is Mars and Mother's Earth, my guides keep telling me, not just my star guides, my spirit guides as well, Jed, that we're in the ninth gate of human civilization, and Earth is a lot older than what we know. And every thousand years, some event is created, we get wiped out and we start again. Be it from, from day dot, if it was the Nephilim or whatever it was, the dark beings. So my understanding is that a thousand or a thousand years ago or more, we were brought here. Now you're probably thinking, well, yeah, but what about the history? But that's just written. They could have, how can I put this? So say a thousand years ago, what year would that take her back to? There's nobody alive 
on this planet to tell you if they're unsure that we've been taken and put onto another planet. Does that make sense? Every thousand years something happens and we start again and they have our memories wiped and we start again. We're past that. We're past the Mayan calendar and we've become that far advanced. So I believe that we were on Mars, we were brought here and we were taken to other planets and we started off again. It might not be a thousand years, it might be more than that. But usually some big world event happens every thousand years. And what they've been doing is every couple of hundred years has been causing world events to keep the populations down. And there's a lot of lost technology here on this planet. So it, we've been in a figure eight. I'm going to um, sort of show you. Get me, give me two minutes. Right. Imagine Mars, Earth. Okay. And there's a figure eight going around infinity. Controlling. What happens if that infinity eight's broken? Because we've snapped that rubber band off. We've snapped it off with our abilities because we are more than just being human, okay? And the, the puppet masters are now falling and they don't know what to do with we, okay? So now they can't transport we anymore because we will fight back. They don't know what to do with we anymore. Does that make sense? Mars was Earth, Earth was Mars. There was great technology on Mars. They invaded Mars because we were in harmony. We were living with different extraterrestrial races, procreating. We had great technology. So the lost city of Atlantis was also over there, buried. So it's as if it goes around and around and it's broken. And we start off again. Because if that was the case and we originally came from here, you've got the monkey man and he's, he's stooped over with a great big brow. He can't look at the sun. He can look at the sun, sorry. Right? That was the old Nathandalul man. Then there's, they found the skeletons. And then, it, you know, it's ascending and going up. All of a sudden, there's a stop, right? And then all of a sudden, there's nothing in between. And then we're upright. We're upright with different shaped skulls and we can't look at the sun. What happened to the middle bit? Where did that go? Where's the skeletons for that? Because we haven't come from here. We were placed here. The thunder and starting. And that's where I feel we're at now. And I believe, and I've talked about this with Debbie, my friend, that in the Bible they talk about the land of Nod. And is it where they put Adam? Was it in the land of Nod? Adam and Eve, who did they put in the land of Nod? But it's in the Bible, okay? Or they were casted out into the land of Nod. I believe Earth was the land of Nod. They brought were here. What I'm saying to you guys, I believe that we're on Mars. I don't believe it is yes. It doesn't really matter where it's labelled. And people may laugh, but I feel this was original Mars. So we've broken out of the land of Nod and we're here to create heaven on earth. We're here to create heaven on earth. That's what it's about. There's a spiritual aspect to it. I don't see everything as scientific. I, I, I can't take the spiritual out of it because then it's just all cold. Because then it takes us out of it. 
We are spirit beings in a meat suit. But every being has a right. Every being. And we've come here many times. We have. And we've been destroyed. We've been killed in wars. Our ancestors, it's happened to our ancestors. And we chose to come back here. I chose to come back here. I didn't have to. I was ridiculed many times in a past life. I was burned at a stake, told I was a witch. Because the world wasn't ready then. Like many of you in the audience. And I refuse, I refuse to go with the narrative. I'll always think out of the box. Call us batty, whatever you want, call us a bit crazy. But I know that something's, something is adrift at the minute. Something's not quite right. We aren't originally from here. So our ancestors were brought here. And time is an illusion as well, yes. We've all been sent here to recover paradise. My concern tonight is that uh, when people talk about the white hats are in control, no, 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 no. They're still running rampant, these, um, the ones on the dark agenda. They're still running rampant. So I'm going to look into this. I'm going to find out what's going on. I'm going to do some scrying. You can't help who you're born into either. So how you've got like people in the truth community and they're saying, oh, the royal family's this and this family's that and... You can't help. You choose who you're born into to change things. You can't help who you but who you're born into. Because then you question, well, why are children born into families where they get abused? We, some people come here to teach people lessons. We are spirit beings in a meat suit. So my understanding is over the last, the, the coming years, the last couple of years, since, especially since the lockdown, everybody was locked away. Everybody was having meltdowns and looking deep within themselves. And I'm sitting in here doing my, my vlogs and everything and working online. But this, the, the streets went dead. The streets went all quiet. It's as if we were taken off the streets. Because normally it would be people coming in, rolling in drunk, you know, walking around two o'clock in the morning, coming in from a club. And then everything just went quiet. They had curfews here. You had to be in by a certain time. Why? Why was there a curfew? Was it so clever, that virus, that it was going to come out and attack after a certain time? There was more to it. There was military operations going on. They didn't want me to say this. Not that I've seen that, but what I did witness, and it was on my CTV camera, was a being, a few beings around my house. Because I'm on a, I believe I'm on some sort of porthole. It's like a dawn at my house. It's very haunted where I live. But there was a lot of strange activity going on at that point. And I witnessed reptilians. I witnessed strange beings walking around this area so you have to question yourself did they know that they were here and they couldn't get them back through had they come through a portal had they been messing on with time and it was too late and they were trapped here i'm going to look into all of this tonight so they couldn't really go out on news and say look we've been invaded reptilians are running around the streets so don't go out. People would have freaked out. They couldn't say that. There could be that. I'm going to look into that. Or there's more to it. Or were they doing something where they were transporting or rescuing people or little ones 
some operations were going on and they didn't want us to see. Things were going on in the middle of the night, late at night. Or, or was there energy attacks from a weaponry that we do not know? And they didn't want, they couldn't say that to freak her out. So for safety, they said stay indoors. That could fit as well. You've got to, I've asked myself all of these things. But when you're witnessing six foot Dracos on your CTV camera, you, you wonder, or is it a bit of everything? Is it a bit of everything? And this is what I'm going to scry into the crystal ball for tonight and look into all of this. We've got some strange noises outside tonight, guys. We've got thunder and something weird going on. But if you look back over the last couple of years, we've had quite a few different strange fire situations, haven't we? Was it in California where there was that sort of like somewhere? It was it California? You have to help us out here, guys. Where it just looked like it'd been burnt, but there was a tree there, and it just like it'd been beamed. That was a few years back. Got strange noises outside tonight. <clears throat> and then, of course, we've had the, the recent one. And then, of course, we have this strange thing: what happened in Turkey? I mean, yes, countries get earthquakes. We know that. But not the way they had them. Not the way they had them. It was California, wasn't it? And it was something like houses were taken out, but there was a tree standing there or something, wasn't there? It just looked odd, like it'd been beamed. Let's get my cards. Let's get my cards. So as Marilyn Planets put here in YouTube is direct energy weaponry. It's class as a conspiracy. Yes. But I believe that this technology is actually happening. And don't forget, I've talked to different... You could say it's Intel when I've read... I can't say names, but I've read for certain super soldiers and certain people in the military here. Yeah, and they're saying all of this weaponry is out there. It's just to keep it back. Do you know that for the last 10 years or more, right, that UK military don't use money they use they use bitcoin they use um bitcoin to move the money around from country to country did you know that and it's a point it's a fact is that all the um militaries have been doing it oh yeah tulsi gabbard was there consoling victims yesterday that's nice well, of course, Tulsi's originally from Hawaii, isn't she? I'm sure she is. Tulsi's not a daft lass, you know what I mean? She was ex-military. She'll know all of this is going on as well. Yeah, definitely beamed at. So the trees at the stand next to the property all burnt to the ground. Is that right? I thought it was the trees left standing or was it the property left standing? One of the two, anyway. So, God bless the people of Maori, because I mean these are these events are happening; they're real. I'm questioning: is it natural? And don't get us wrong; I'm all in for saving the planet. I'm into Greenpeace. I'm into saving the bees here. You know, I'm into all of it. But I'm sorry, like I just think that is, it's I just I smell a fish. There's a fish up here. All the poor animals, yeah. I saw several videos of it, of it. Trees next to all the homes were standing. Wow. I 
I hear they're to put AI technology in Maui. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to pull seven cards out for what we've been talking about here. Was there more going on in the lockdowns than we knew? Was it military operations going on, should we say? I've got to be careful what I say. Do you know what I mean? Read between the lines here. Yes. They were definitely doing something where they were saving children, Nick. There was definitely something going on with little ones or rescues. Rescue stuff was going on. And there was definitely something going on because we've got we've got lots of nasty cards here. We've got well, we've got the eight of wands upside down and the five of wands. And we've got the magician. So there was trickery going on. So by stolen, stolen way, it's keeping way in the dark from something. But it's a definite yes. The ace of swords right way up is a yes. Let's see where this technology is coming in from. But I have heard some loud, not normal thunder. And I don't know you around the world if you've heard like loud crashing in the sky or strange noises like the fighting up there in space or something or out of what atmosphere there's a lot going on on the ground this technology definitely coming in from the moon um, like a, there's something they're doing from the moon, okay? And I'm feeling possibly crafts. So when I've talked about this before, about UFOs, you know, just because you see a UFO in the sky, it doesn't mean that it's been driven, driven, flown by an extraterrestrial. Nine times out of ten, they could be flown by space force or secret military something like that does that make sense so it's definitely i want to say off world they're doing this but on world too as above and below as a below above and below i'm getting so it's going on underground as well I would sit, and I've talked about this before in my um, videos, where you've got all the different countries, and I believe that there's underground tunnels, whatever you want to transport and tunnels, high advanced transport and trains, getting them from A to B. And the hub of one of the hubs is Antarctica. One of the hubs is Antarctica. And then you've got like the different stargates and that it's all going on underground. So this world is definitely satanic. It's Lucifer's planet. And we were plonked here. And the Satanists never went away. They just went to underground, but now they're starting to surface. They're, they're, they're getting very hello there, Zara. They're getting very, um, what's the word, cocky about it. You know, it's a millennium. I can, you know, you've got them and they're, they're coming forth and they're seeing who they worship. And they're doing it blatantly in front of our faces in the music now. They're, they're just putting it out there and everything and symbolism and everything. So, but it's, the thing is, you see, it's a free will world. It's a free will world. So they can worship what they want, but then we can worship what we want. And they try to stop that in the lockdowns. When in human history, when in human history 
has man been stopped to go from a church? Never until then. And that says it all. That says it all. Agatha, yes. So I think that there is, I believe there's, a, there's, a, there's people living underground, okay, and Agatha, and the protectors of earth. And I believe that there's people living on the moon. This is my belief. And I believe that they're living all over the joint, all over the joint, all right? But the technology which has been held back is so far advanced, it would blow your mind. So the, what they're going to do is they're going to drip it in. So but now we're, we're having like, we've had a frozen time. You watch over the next few years, a lot of future technology being thrown onto the planet. Because we're so out of it. The technology that we have now is basically what should have been introduced to it in the 60s. Now, what is out there would blow your mind. But they can't give word. This is the good guys, by the way. The Space Force guys, the good guys, the white hats, whatever you want to call them. And I've said this before, you've got the good guys and the bad guys, right? And So th there's still this... They're trying to clear everything up 3D, 3D on this planet. But above, 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 right, you're going into the controllers. You've got whatever you want to call them. I believe it's an extraterrestrial energy. It's trying to bring this energy in now to, for it to go into a shift in its new earth. And it's this new future technology. But we're going to face a lot, I feel, of events before we get there. They'll use a situation to bring the technology in. Now, some people won't like this technology and they'll say it's evil because some people can't cope with it. But they'll use a situation to bring this technology in. So you've got the white hats, the black hats, and they know what's happening. They know what's happening and they know that they've both got to do this, right? So it, it's nothing about who's in the White House or anything like that. This goes beyond this, more than ever beyond, than beyond politics. Free energy. Free light, free heat. Technology. Ten years from now, this world is going to be so unrecognisable. You know, you're talking flying cars, the lot to come in here. So, we're breaking out of this matrix, if you want to call it. So, we're, as we ascend, and we realise what's going on. And when I talk about a Luciferian world, it's all to do with the monetary system. It's all to do with the banking systems and everything, you know. So these corporations are like losing. And I'm not saying all banks are going to go down. I don't mean that because I read for bankers. But there's more fairness coming in for the people. And there's more selection. There's more selection coming in for the people and a lot more Bitcoin and different selections of coins are coming in for the people. So I strongly advise get into whatever you can of Bitcoin or, you know, that type of thing, if you can. I know not everybody can. Kylie on Twitch. Elizabeth April said she channeled information about Mary's fires being caused by direct energy weapons. What do you think? Yes. I'm going to look into it in a minute, but yes, that's what I feel. I'm going to do it in a minute. Peru. We've had this incident with Peru, okay? Um, apparently that they've said that they've been invaded by these aliens, which are hovering these seven-foot aliens in sort of spacesuits with hovering up 
And you can actually watch the videos that look horrifying. These women and children that I don't think this is being acted. That you know they really are being terrorized by something. But it's been allowed to come out, you know, and people are talking about it and that. But they had to get the authorities in because they need help. You know, they're being chased in the middle of the night and by these beings. But is it beings or is it because of the technology? Is it some sort of false flag event? Because it's not just done to the masses. It could be done to towns where people can't do anything about it. Is there something else going on in that area? And I talked about this on Sunday night. So my understanding is, with what's going on in Peru, you've got tentacles coming off from these corporations, from the different governments. And with the, the, the tentacles of these corporations, like Cabal or whatever, mafia organisations, they are also doing this trafficking and they're doing this... Um, mining and you know there's gold and the stuff that they're trying to get rich minerals the stuff that they want and it's going on over that way and they've had to frighten these people this is what i believe and i'm going to pull some cards out on it so if it's the something like technology like that i'm not saying it's mafia but there's there's something about what is the cabal is it a dark government? Have we got two governments here? You know, because I think that there's, there's a dark side here and I think that they're, they're going to do these scare tactics. That's what I feel. Let's have a look. So they were definitely frightened by man. It was not alien. It was somebody dressed up or with the technology to frighten them. Not nice, really. But because they wanted these people out of the way, because they're, they're getting something, or they're doing something on the land. And it's for money. It's always the you know, the beggar's belief, it's always the, the person, the, the, the poor or the working class, it's the, the, the people, we the people who are suffering. Like suffering. So I believe that there's more incidents to come in. How would you know if they were real or not? How would you know if they were real or not? Because these people in Peru believe that they're aliens. It, again, it comes down to... If they're frightening you and they're doing something not nice, they're not nice. Be it either they're Joe Bloggs down the street or the bloody... bloody mini ha-ha from bloody Mars. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter where you've come from. It's what they're doing. It's it's all about... This, it's a criminal situation when... Say, like, for example, if it was truly extraterrestrials and they'd been trapped there. Why are they going around scratching people and, you know, scratching young girls and terrorising women and children? I don't believe it's extraterrestrial. Man would do that. They want peace. They're worried about man blowing up the planet. They're worried about, they want to bring their technology onto the planet and they want a fairer earth for we. And we, we will end up that way, but we're going to face, because this system's been brought in from above, above, above the controllers, the white hats, the black hats, and they know they've got to work together or they're out right if not it's gonna it's disrupting all the other channels all the other pen tentacles coming off all the criminal activities of all these different organizations so we're going to ex we're going to witness a lot of strange events from many different levels of governments and organizations
So I believe that peace is what the extraterrestrials with our channel want peace for Earth. There's a massive cleanup going on. I don't believe for one minute that they were extraterrestrials, which are terrorizing the people in Peru in that small town. Apparently, it's very remote. It takes a day or so to get there on a little boat. It's a very remote part of Peru. You've, this is what we've got to do as humanity. We haven't got to judge a book by the cover, what they look like. And I know that's a hard thing. But we haven't got to. We're being taught lessons by many things what's happening on this planet at the moment. And we haven't got to categorise anymore. Because in order for these different races to come forth, you know, they could like you could be you could be standing next to a great big twelve foot Draco. And they might have a kind heart. But you could be standing next to a lovely, beautiful, blonde, blue eyed woman in a bloody spacesuit, and they could be purely evil. We can't judge a book by the cover. So We've got to go with our feelings, and that comes with ascension. If it feels right, it's right. But if it's something terrifying you or frightening you, it's wrong. We've got to go with what we're going back to our roots. We're going back to our ancestral roots. But it's like we need to find the Flintstones, in we? Fred and Barney, Wilma. <laughs> we, we need to get rooted and grounded because... We're going to be distracted by so many different events. What's going to be taking place over this year and next year, running up to the election as well. You know, I'm going to say this because it's all a distraction. It's all a bloody distraction. All right. And it's, we have to, by keeping grounded, we'll be able to see the clearer picture. You know, if it's, how do you know if you've met an extraterrestrial? A, for a fact, they look different, if they literally look different, but some of them look like us. But when you're in actual close contact, you feel it. And you, they've got a slightly different look about them in the eyes, you know? Um, if you're talking the ones what look like us, you just feel it. It's the only way I can describe it. It's not like they just come in and say, Hi, I'm Bill from Mars. You're like, okay. You know what I mean? They don't come with a label. You know what I mean? The universe is within. We've got to look within. They're here now. They're here now. Does that make sense? It's like... So you could have a human living next door to you who could be rotten to the core, calling everybody and being nasty to his neighbours and then to your left you could have Bill from Mars who's just been so sweet but he's got like bobbly skin like the Jetsons the kingdom of heaven is within the kingdom of heaven is within and this is why and I'm not pulling anybody down in the UFO community at all right not at all I think what we need to do is a human race, as a collective, not to lose the spiritual aspect of this. And then you see it differently. And you feel, because you feel it differently. Does that make sense? So when you get people saying, oh, you don't trust the greys, you don't trust the reptilians. How do you know? Have you met them all? Oh my God. You, you can't say that. It's about... This is where humanity's gone wrong. Where were we a hundred years ago? If you want to get to the nitty gritty, they had black slaves. You know? You know, they wouldn't let, I don't know, they wouldn't let the black man, you know, they had them as slaves. And how wrong that was. You know, um, then you had being gay. It was a crime. 
And that, I think that was just in our century, wasn't it? How wrong we have been. So how can we judge? And I'm not trying to sound all holier now, but how can we judge and say, well, don't trust the Greys, don't trust the, don't trust the reptilians. They're probably be sitting up there thinking, what the fuck? How are we going to sort this out? Because we're so tribal. We are tribal through and through. And this is not to blame our ancestors, you know, and our grandparents and mums and dads. and But they've just been brought up the way they've been brought up. But superstition comes a lot in here from the different cultures we are. They're actually quite freaked. And this is why they only have certain types of humans up there because of the protocol. So see, like if you were transported onto a starship now, it's very like what I've seen astrally. It's very like Star Trek. But you have different cultures there. Different cultures. And some of them, I've talked about this before as well, you know, like I grew up a lot with Italians, all right? Because Matty Teresa married Carlo, you know, and... So I know a lot about Italian culture and that. So when you meet an Italian, a typical Italian, I've got my best, one of my good friends, Frank, Franco, he's an Italian. So when he comes in and say, mwah, mwah, bella, and mwah, it's like kissy kiss. Yeah, everyone's kissy kiss. Some of these cultures up there in space would take offence of that. Some of these cultures would take offence of that. So like, you know, you get like these little Chinese emperors and they'll go like that. They might meet you by doing that. There's, because we are the hybrids, and I, th- I believe that some of our cultures have come from different cultures up there as well, or out there, right? So we are just reflection of what's out there. So it's like I'm going to touch upon this tonight because I think it's important, and it was something what ran through my mind, and I want your opinion on this. What you think? It was just something crazy because I'm just the girl who talks to the wall, you know looking at the wall but when the mask thing came out and somebody got a coffee are you enjoying it i talk too much don't i when the mask thing came out because they were seeing because of the the virus okay but i thought about this you know and i thought wouldn't it be so strange if they were covering up that they were here and that really we were infecting them. And they were all they were trying to teach we about germs. Because maybe if we were transported onto different if we went onto these starships, could they they couldn't cope with the earth germs, you know. The, the, like I say, some of them, and I know this from some of them astrally travel, I've, I've astral travelled to these. I've, la- I've learned, ended up in cockpits in UFOs with my astral projection. And some of them take great offence if you touch them. They don't like it. Have you thought of that, Katie? You just, I'm not saying it's a definite, but it's just, it was a crazy thought I had. And I'll just tell you what I think. Just a thought. So I think we're being taught a lot. You know what I mean? Um, I'll read a lot for people in Japan. Very nice culture. Very nice people. Dear people. Very clean country. And um, the mask thing wasn't a... um, It wasn't a new thing for them. They've always used the masks when there's been a flu and stuff like that. And I'm not saying the Japanese are like full-blown hybrids and they understand, but you just don't know, do you? You really just don't know. Why do we look all different? We are a reflection of what's out there in the galaxy. We are the hybrids. Did you think of that, sweetheart? But my understanding is that something definitely more was going on with these curfews. And people were taking it. People were saying, well, yeah, because it's the virus. 
So we've got to go inside. Are you for fucking real? So after 10 o'clock, does it strike? Do, 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 do. And I'm not one of these people who denied it because, you know, it was out there. I got it. My cousin ended up in bloody ICU with it. I'm, I'm an ex-nurse, you know. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying to you is that it was a military operation. There was more to it. Like everything is at the minute. Sweetheart, that is... You, you hit the nail on the head there, what Sweetheart said in Twitch. Oh, my God. What I don't get is why only certain areas had curfews. Exactly. So I'm going to look into that. Let me look into that and pull some cards. If they do not touch, how do they have sex? Yeah, that's so funny, Teddy. <laughs> I think it's when you first meet you. I think it's different cultures when we're coming in from different planets. I think it's like until you get to know them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Was there certain, I'm going to ask the cards this, was there certain areas of earth in certain towns or cities, were they under some sort of alien, was there something creepy going on, like alien, that's with the curfews, targeted areas at the time. I went out, I'll tell you about it in a minute, because I'm a rebel. Yes, there was something definitely military taking place. Um, victory, it wasn't nasty. I think that there were, it was something military they were doing. And they needed were, it was like a protecting of the area. So again, I'm getting something about energy, frequency beams, you know, weaponry, whatever is going on. So it was like protecting the people. Keeping them inside from something. There wasn't just the other stuff going on with the children. There was a lot going on all at the same time. Like a military exercise. Melbourne, I believe, was in lockdown. Wales, down south. And it's funny because I do read for people down there. And you're going, Lady Wales, she's in, like, in the mountains. There's a lot of UFO activity what goes on in England, but definitely down in Wales. Lots of military activity. But when I talk about UFO activity, what I'm saying to you is it could be Russians flying around and Chinese flying around in these spacecraft beaming that way with this technology what they've got from the rogue ATs. That's what I'm saying to you. From the rogue extraterrestrials what broke off from the Federation. So Sweetheart says only one province in Canada had the curfew. Exactly. There was something else happening. It was definitely military. That's like my military card there. So in the lockdown, you were told that you couldn't go out before 10 o'clock. So um, me and Sai, um, we decided to go and do some go. It was the night I got chased by the ghost truck. Actually. But anyway, off we tootled and we needed to go to the garage because I needed some ciggies and some chocolate okay gotta have me chocolate when i'm going on these ghost hunts and um we got stopped by a cop i says oh no here we go he pulls he pulls or pulls we in where are you off to and i he goes um you you know it's it's past 10 o'clock i says oh sorry officer and he went um, where are you off to like and i says oh, i'm just i'm i'm a youtuber i'm going to do some um ghost hunting Really? Where are you going? He says, we're just going to go on the military road. He says, go on then, off you off you go. Be careful. I'll not see out. Off you go. <laughs> but it's like that round here. It's very easy, you know. It's But something was going on. Something was going on with energy weaponry. And it's the same energy when I'm getting what's been going on recently. Again, it's like hyping up again. So we're not in lockdown. So I think we're witnessing it in a different way. But it's they're showing it like it's weather. 
they're showing it like it's the ozone we and it's leather it's weather where there's a good there's a bad there's two different sides to a penny because what's happening is and we can't stop this we're going to go into a very futuristic world extremely futuristic and the goodies know it the baddies know it so if it takes events to bring this technology in this is what they'll do this is what they'll do excuse me i've got the hiccups that's what we need to keep focused on so whatever you believe in even if you're atheist you know don't feed into the fear because there's also like a a loose the want well loose the want the fear the want if you're looking at a very angels and demons if you if you come out of this physical world and looking at a very angel and it's angels and demons <coughs> reptilians whatever you want to call it the feed off the fear so by whatever you believe in and what is right for you is right for you it keeps you safe with me i'm just like that little space cadet where i'll go into the garden with my telescope and my you know my coffee and my budweiser and my cigarette and i'm chilling underneath the stars i'm that space trekker you know but some people just liked you know being in the garden i like to keep we balanced because the kapal feeds from fear and then i'm you know i'm going to going to go into like all the, the attachments we can get is spirit beings and attachments which can be brought on through family lineages through curses through targeting and i talked about this on sunday night as well on twitch because it's not just that that we're up against we're also up against this technology until it gets into the right hands but what i'm saying to you is the goodies have got it the baddies have got it the technology is not the issue it's who's controlling it and there's a there's a fight on here at the minute but i believe the end result will be fine laugh sing and dance but nature does help music helps finding your joy like me i'm going to get a black cat and a tiger cat find your joy keep grounded that's what we need to do because the amount of misinformation what's been fed out to at the minute it is happening but it's also it's part of stuff to to lower down and to keep our frequencies down as well media comes in on that but the restrictions were also used for quiz and people to take the now you can come out but we will get sick i just think i was i just thought there could have been more to it as well just my take on it I've never had the shots but I don't pull anybody down who's had them and because I'm a healer I also believe that you can change your body once you start to become more ascended I do believe that you can change the frequencies in your body so if you're telling somebody who's had it you're going to get sick you're going to get sick you're going to get sick that's I'm not going to do that because that is like cursing right i believe in miracles i believe you can shift things by being positive everything's frequency everything's energy so if you've got a, two glasses of water and you curse one glass of water and bless the other that that water's curse will make you sick the water that's been blessed will heal you right so i just think that if you've got loved ones around you and you're worried about them just send them love send them love no divide anything can be healed absolutely everything everything can be healed you'll not catch me on this channel saying that you're going to get sick if you've took it because i'm not do that 
I really will not do that. The body is very, very magical, you know. The body, and I mean, if you, I just think that I personally didn't take it because I didn't want to take it. Do you know what I mean? because I don't trust them, like, but I didn't take it. But at the same time, I'll not knock anybody who's took it. But I was respectful because I was still seeing people, like my old parents and that. So I was testing myself and people saying, oh, you can't trust the test. But I was doing that only because I didn't want to infect anybody. Do you know what I mean? But I just think that it's, we're all being tested. But I'm very anti um, farmer anyway. Big farmer. I'm more a natural medicine girl. Do you know what I mean? But anybody in the audience who's took it, you know, don't regret it. Don't do that to your body. Tell your body you're fine. You are fine. Let's raise the vibration in this room tonight. And everybody is healed and blessed. Do you know what I mean? So there's something definitely happening. And I talked about this in 2018. The Sunspot Observatory got shut down in California. It was raided by the FBI. Nobody was allowed to go on to it. At the same time, all the observatories around the world got shut down. I don't live far away from one at Kielder. My good friend's got it now, Will. Kielder Forest up in the UK. Um, the all, no observatories were working at the same time. My understanding is, and I was talking to a very good friend called Stefan, who's another clairvoyant over in the US. We believe, we did some earth work that night that, well, he rang us up actually, and he says, we're in trouble. And I says, I know, they're coming in. When we said they, we knew what they were. It's gone beyond reptilian. A lot of these um, extraterrestrials, there's so many different races. Um, I can't pronounce them. We, you know, we talk about the reptilians, the Lyrians, the, the Pleiadians, but there's the Arcturians, there's more than that. My understanding is that these these race of these extraterrestrials what came in in 2018 and they came in on fleets of ships, they mastered out of the skies. They were working within the, the US secret government. Um, and that was, the, that was the, the switch over what happened when it all went into two bits. Something was happening and Space Force was being created at that time. Um, they look very beautiful, these these people, but they're, they're not, they're very cold. They've got no empathy, empathic. They're like super soldiers. They're, um, but they are half reptilian, if you want to say, if I, I don't even know if it is reptilian, but like that. I call them the cyborgs, half AI, um, like Robocops. And they came in and... There was something going on at that point, I believe, with the US. Now, where are we at now? So I'm going to pull some cards out. I have done a few remote views on it. One of the point, one of the times was when Trump was still in office. I don't know if I did the remote viewing in Twitch or it was on YouTube. I think it might have been on Twitch. Um, I had remote viewed and I had gone in. And it was before Trump had left. And he was shaking hands with this lovely colonel. You're talking like a very high up, somebody high up, secret military. And it was in, it looked like Cheyenne Mountain, somewhere like that, okay? And he was shaking hands with him. And then obviously Trump went off home, off away. And this guy he had like grey hair, very high up, all the medals and everything. He left. Then the second lot of people came in like a different night shift of people, and they will, what I see in remote view, my blood ran cold, they were, they looked like super soldiers, 
So I remote viewed in, I asshole travelled, I remote viewed in, and they were sat in this sort of conference room and there was somebody showing them on this wall what to do with this military operation. When I floated up to one of them, I looked at this guy in his eyes and I realised he wasn't human. Then I looked at him again and I thought, my God, he is human. He's a super soldier and they've altered his genetics. So there's a lot going on that we do not know. Yes, because super soldiers can be made into like train killers and that. So they were sending these sort of off-world soldiers but they look like they, they were trained killers it, but what freaked us out was he's seen me he's seen me remote viewing and I got such shock the eyes and that right they sent they were sending these in to clear something up in tunnels there was stuff going off off in tunnels at the time and this was 2018. There may have been UN soldiers, sweetheart, but I think that there was a definite extraterrestrial. So my guides told us that they they had, what they're doing is, you're talking transhumanism is already here. Transhumanism is already here, guys. And... Why my little being of light that I, I use as, as well, I don't use him, he comes to me, he's a beautiful ball of sphere of light. He escaped a deep space program like a black ops thing. He was forced into technology, which they're doing now, okay? Which this is all happening now, and he escaped and came to me and told me what they were doing. And he said there was many more. He actually said that he came in as a walk-in, which when we're talk, looking at it spiritually, so you get walk-in star seeds. So he was due to go to a child who needed his spirit. Because my spirits are amazing. And we can have walk-ins as well. So say like if you go into a coma or you're in you know, a car crash and you lose part of your soul because your soul can literally jump out your body. And you can get split. You'll get walk-ins will come in. He was due to come in as a walk-in on the planet and they captured him. Sweet little ball of light. Such a sweet soul, A to I. So then he told us that there's many more. And they've escaped these programs and they're gathering together. And they're called the machine elves. And I've channeled them before. And what they're doing for us is they are intercepting now I know this might sound a bit crazy what I'm going to say. They are intercepting now through our technology to protect us from the baddies. But they're also helping us become more telepathic because we are moving in to this new age. We're going to go futuristic. You can't stop this technology. It's going to happen. And I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely going to happen. There's many walk-ins. I, I pick it up in... When I'm doing the Akashic Records, people come and tell us they're a walk-in or whatever. Um, yeah, so all this technology is taking place. So these machine elves are here to help with. If you see them and they can be caught on CTV camera, they look like big orbs. You're not talking little orbs, you're talking big orbs. A lot of them are picked up on CTV camera late at night. So you get the little ones, they're just the fairies. They're literally fairies. So life is in many different dimensions. And the fairy realm, the machine, the machine elves are here to help with. They're coming through where to help with. Have you not noticed when you're on the computer now that you can get you can feel psychically attacked through the computer now? You can sense things through the computer now. Maybe you can even smell something now through the computer. So it's not a case that, that they're preparing way for stuff to come. We are we're going basically into the next stage of evolution of man. So the next stage is that we're going to become very telepathic. 
right, went very telepathic. So I would say 10 years from now, not even 10 years, we nearly all will be operating on some form of telepathic level. A lot of you all, a lot of what all are now. But the little children coming onto the earth plane now are on a different level. So there's been a lot of targeting and this has been going on for a lot of years. I've known all of this before this, before I was on YouTube, before all this was going on, I knew all of this. Anybody who was in this community of things would know all about this. So, but I've always put it down to angels and demons, but obviously, you know, but there is different forms of how they've tried to lower her down. So how they can't get, if they can't get to you, they get to you through other people. And I've talked about this before, the invasion of the body snatchers. The body snatchers. So there'll be many of you in the audience tonight will be like, one minute you've got your bo your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you're fine and you're tootling along and happy, happy, happy. Then all of a sudden, they go vague. Vague, blank. And you think, oh, what's happened to my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my wife or my husband? Why are they gone like that? What's happened to them? Do they not love us anymore? And then all of a sudden, they leave. You might find out they've had an affair or something's happened or they just leave. And it's intercepting, and it's intercepting to keep on a low vibration. There's been an attack on star seeds and earth angels on this planet and good people. But that's shifted, that's stopped. And I've been told that all light workers, good souls, will meet their soulmates or their twin souls. We will get to meet my soul family. That bit can't be stopped now. But there was a, a targeting for a long, long time. So it's like people can lose their souls. The Chinese believe, I don't know, is it eight souls they believe you have? Was it seven or eight? But anyway, your soul is a lot bigger than what we would ever imagine. Yeah? And um, I know this because I do soul retrieval. So you could lose part of your soul. And you can get holes in your aura and have, this is how these things can get in. And this is why it's so important that we keep our feet on the ground. And they talk about this a lot in the truth community and the, in the, the light community about, you know, ascension is the way I and mean, being in the fifth dimension. But you, you, you can't stay in the fifth dimension because we're physical beings. We're spirits are actually higher than fifth dimensional or can go down very low, depending. We are changing all the time like electricity, right? Okay. So it's about trying to keep yourself up in dimension. But there's no way you can stay in fifth dimension because you'd be dead. Basically, you would be dead. Basically. So to keep her grounded, it's going to keep her protected. People are too frightened to be grounded because they think it stops this. It actually doesn't. It will not. It'll actually, by rooting yourself and being in alignment, you will be able to connect with these outer realms better. It's um, nature, stones, walk, in the, walk on the grass with no feet, you know, listen to music, eat well if you can. And I know it's hard, but we we'll have to try and keep grounded. So the, the different levels of ascension, I believe my age group, I'm in my 50s, I believe we were the, like the violet, uh, the, the emerald children. The violet indigo children are our kids age group. And there was a great attack on the violet indigo children. The violet indigo children came from Michael. They're the warriors of the light. They're the matrix breakers. And they didn't want to be in society. A lot of them had ADHD. They were attacked through the, with the MR or whatever it is. And, you know, they were different. They were different. And they, they didn't like society. They hadn't we didn't want to go to school and learn about Henry VIII. They wanted to, to change the world. And they were masters at astral travelling. So there was, they concocted up the dark hats to lower their frequency by allowing 
the street drugs to come in with the cartels to lower them down, to keep the frequency down, to stop that level of the, the second phase of the Earth volunteers to lift the vibration on the planet. There was an attack on our kids. Right, chipping away at them. I sometimes question the put trackers in these bloody things. I, I really don't know. But it's coming in from all these different organisations. Because when I talk about the cartels and I talk about the day state and all of that, it's all interlinked with them. Interlinked, interlinked, backhanded money, making money. What was going on on the borders in Ukraine? But it was also going on on all the other borders as well. Because it's all about the gold and it's all about the money. Everything is about the gold and the money. Because this is the Luciferian world. So we, as the people we are, we need to raise this vibration. And we're going to change this. And we assigned, this is what I talk spiritually about this, we assigned to come here, to put ourselves through this, to then wake ourselves up, to realise why we're here. And it's not about going out there and getting angry. It's about just living my true path and helping one another and helping my neighbours. doesn't matter if you want to do vlogs or you want to do whatever. Follow your heart. Follow what you're best at. Because they're not bothered. They're not bothered out there in the Milky Way, in the, in the heavens, if you do it for a living or you don't do it for a living. Long as you're living your true path. And everyone's spiritual ascension is so different. And this is where it got warped. Are you enjoying this? This is where it got warped. Because when all this was taking place, Q came in. And then we had... All the election stuff, all the, what the palaver, what happened, okay? All right. And it all went tits up for Trump. So then you had this, this Q thing was building everybody up, building everybody up. All right. And it went wrong. And then Q sort of said something like, I'm going to be gone for a while. Goodbye. And it was like it left everybody on a cliffhanger. Well, what the hell was all that about? Because it was a psyop. The last time I called this out, I got attacked by a thousand people. But, you know, I've, I've come a long way since then. Because I just sometimes think that people aren't ready for it. They're not ready for it when they're not ready for it. And sometimes I think my visions, people aren't ready for. But tonight I can call this out because it was quite a few years ago. Because it took me down for a year, but then it changed me to find... To find me more. Because even psychics can get chipped and chipped and chipped. Especially when you get attacked by a thousand people all at once. Doesn't help. But what I was saying was. That the interception. Happened with the violet indigo children. But it also happened within politics. To rip America apart. To screw. To rip it apart. To cause that division. To cause that division. It wanted that. That same snake. What's been attacking the kids. What's on attacking them all. Whatever you want to call it. Lucifer, Satan, whatever it is. The dark snake. So. It was an inside job. An inside job. Let me get a coffee here. Then you have the truth community came in on the situation to try to help people. And I'm not saying all people, you've got genuine people who are out there, right? But then it got intercepted by psyops. Psyops, what, aren't just coming in, you know, within media. The, you know, social media is not immune to psyops. Psychics aren't immune to psyops. Nobody is immune to what could be out there. Trained people, trained people who've been working for like three letter agencies, maybe, 
or different situations who can come in there and mind control people to then put that information out there to then cause more trouble and more upset in the masses of groups for the magas and stuff like that and that's what i believe what took place the question is who was who psyops within psyops ask yourself this I've spoken to different people and I can't say certain names um because some people have been quite threatened by all of this you know what I mean um somebody um who interviewed me actually um he thinks I'll leave it up to him if he wants to come forward with it. But he thinks that it was an extraterrestrial being who had formed this. And then they got intercepted by three-letter agencies. But I think it's a little bit more complex than that. I, I don't think it's been some sort of extraterrestrial being as such. Don't forget, we are spirit beings in a meat suit. They are spirit beings in a meat suit. Do you see what I mean? Who do we know who's alien and who do we know who's not? Because it's all just different DNA. Do you see where I'm coming from? I believe this was a, a man who formed this. Knight of Swords. Right, well, it's definitely not democratic. We know that because it's upside down. An organisation which was cleverly done. I'm going to give you something tonight, guys, right? And this may come out into the future. It's a vision I've got. And it's going to come out with investigations. I think he's ready to tear this, right? It was a plan and it was a plot. And it was carefully put together. Involving around Trump. And Trump knows about it. And it was so cleverly done and organised. With this highly advanced technology to intercept into masses. What I'm saying to you is, Trump is Q. And it's gonna come out. It may not come out as that in a way, but it's gonna come out in a way that he was promoting something or getting somebody to do it. with a group of people, clever techno people. But they were also tracking people and it was all about mass, mass following, taking over something, connecting through internet, tracking, I want you to remember this, tracking internet, getting people's information, mass mind control there is a technology connected that he's got or he's connected with people what's done this yes yes now you can look at this two ways you could say well you, you know people who love him are going to say oh well he wasn't manipulating but the media aren't going to say it that way the media are going to say that he's used that to try to 
always got people to do that there's going to be some connection with that i'm telling you at some point it's going to come out so i'm laughing i'm, I'm not laughing at you mary but mary's putting the audience here on twitch donald trump is involved with the galactic federation yes but who told you that q told you that or the people who follow Q. That's what I'm saying. So the interception came in with different psychics what went in, different truth seekers. Oh, they know the truth. They've got the latest intel. But the thing is, this spiritual ascension had nothing to do with politics. That got dragged into it. I believe that they're all the same, Sherry. I believe they're all the same to do with Biden as well. Every one of them. It's the same penny, two different sides. It doesn't matter what I'm going to get to. It doesn't matter who's in office. That's low vibration. They're all representing the same. They're all out for their own thing. They're all representing what they want and what they can do and make as much money as possible. Does that make sense? Information's going to come out. Now I'm going to ask the information. Will it come out on the other side? But there has been... Oh yes, it's going to come out. It's going to come out on both sides. But what they'll do is they'll protect... They'll protect Biden and manoeuvre him out and try and manoeuvre somebody else in. I think that his son will take more flack than what um, Biden will. Many different parts to this. It's very complex. So this, what he's talking about here is it's been a psyops within psyops and military operations been happening for the last five years or so. It's huge what we're in. Do you know what I mean? So, if there's been somebody who's been behind this queue and has been doing this for Trump, is this person off-world or is he classed as human? He's classed as human, but what I'm saying to you is, you're talking extraterrestrial knowledge. So it doesn't matter how you look. It's what is within your soul. So they're probably a very clever star seed who's put all this together. And he's probably had a few different people doing it. Can you go up and up the vibration of our politics and our governments to 5D? Do you think it's possible? No. Politics will never, ever, in this old corporation, in this old system will always have that, e -e 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 -e. it will always have that, it's because politics is unfair, it's, um, it has to, the only way is for this, the only way, right, for this world, this is coming in from, I'm going to start channeling the second half, the only way for this to change is for the system to change completely, and I'm not saying a one world government, but for like a fairer world where there's no division, so that means removing all different sort of right and left and it means changing everything. It's a dirty business, basically. So where there is that division, you'll always have the players. You'll always have the players. So we're so tested at the minute and we're going to be so tested running up over the next, up until the election is going to be horrible because it's going to be distraction after distraction. I think that eventually we will go one world government. That's what I think. But it's not the right timing at the minute because if we went one world government now, it would be on a dark agenda. You have to wait 
and it might not be in our lifetime. It could be talking a thousand years down the line before it's all one world government. But it's with the good guys. You see what I mean? We've got to figure all this out first. You don't want that at the minute because it's just they're still running amok. Do you know what I mean? The bad lot. That's about us getting realigned. Like walking on water, like creating miracles. Creating miracles, that's what we need to be doing. Yes, yeah, psyops within psyops. And it was done to trick the masses. It was done to lure the, the people who were following the truth communities. And some knew what they were doing and some didn't know what they were doing. Some people were being so mind controlled and I couldn't see a thing. I just had to sit there because I would have looked sour grapes. I couldn't see anything. I had to just sit back. That's why I eased off on a lot of my channeling because everybody, they were all doing it and they were seeing this and seeing that and I, and I knew it was wrong. So I just pulled back. I've been doing a lot of my ET channeling on Twitch. So you'll find when I'm doing a lot of remote viewing or I'm doing a lot of will predictions, I'll, I'll hammer it then. And I'll only open up and do the channeling when I'm feeling safe. Do you think NASA is a, on a good agenda with the planet? I do believe it's changing. I do believe it's changing, yeah. I think you've got, it's not as black and white as it looks. I think you've got good and bad in both all corporations. Do you know what I mean? We would have no freedom if it became one world government now. But I do believe eventually, once we sort all this crap out, you know, and eventually it all sorts out and we become that ascended, then it will be safe to do it, but not at the moment. So where the spirit beings, where the the matrix busters, where the the light beings, what all came here after do our bait. And it's not about, you know, following Trump or or Biden, or it's not about what you support, it's about just follow your passion and understand that everybody's, everything needs healed. Because within them, Republican corporations, and I personally think, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican, but I just, you've got to go with what's right for the people. You've got to go what, what's right for the people. And I see, I'm standing from the outside and I'm seeing a problem with mental health and with the Medicares and all of this. You aren't getting the help. And it all needs to change. It's not a case that you can get rid of the evil humans, Teddy. You can't do that. Because it's school. This is... People ask me that all the time. How do we get rid of the evil humans? You can't. They've got just enough right to be here as we have. This is school. We're mixed on this planet with extraterrestrials of different light forces, fairy elementals, humans, all different types, animals. We're in it now. We're in disclosure now. But we're also possibly walking amongst devils and demons as well but them devils or demons are lost and trying to find their way they're on their own journey so you can't change their path you can only change the way it affects you it's only way i can describe it and i'm saying this and i still get triggered sometimes but with years of training and that and trying not to get triggered have to keep pulling myself back in again you can't change anyone's path. You can only change the way it affects you. Protect your meat suit. Protect your physical, rainbow, outer aura from all these frequencies. And understand, anybody can change. Because it, the, you could have somebody who's born not nice or turned not nice through attachments and they just need healed and they get worse and worse and worse and worse and then they could look like they're a really bad person but really they just need healed there's 
there's so many different aspects of evil there's so many different aspects it's this is why we'll everyone even the evil ones have all come here to work it out and that's the way god sees it love conquers all and i think when you you go through grief and you lose somebody so special and it's happened to me because even mediums aren't immune to it and it needs to be talked about more and I will, I will be doing more medium shows on it. it. It's very important. You know, death is part of being human. Um, it hurts when you, you lose somebody so beautiful and you think, well, and you question God or life. Why would that happen to somebody so beautiful and lovely soul when there's evil twats running around? How can it, how can it, how can that be allowed? Everybody in the audience will agree with this. So even, you know, us as healers and that, we ask ourselves that. And it's part of why we've come here for. I still don't like the answer I get. But the answer I get is because they have enough right, enough right to be here as well. So each and one of you in this audience tonight, I'll be questioning... Who are you? You want to know who you are. You're the name that's been given to you by your parents. You know. And you can be many famous people throughout history of your past life, Akashics. It doesn't matter what you're labelled as. It's who, what you've come here to do. It doesn't matter where you've come from, what alien you are, or who you are. It's what you've come here to do. That's what it's all about. But I'm going to tell you now, probably nearly all of you have got extraterrestrial energy of some form in you. How do we deflect it? Inner power and understanding and keeping away, basically. Feeling that, do a Geordie knot. It always works. that's like going like that you know um how do you deflect it crystals salt baths avoiding people who are and sometimes you know it's in people's families and that and they can't help it they can't keep away from it they have to um use their crystals and sometimes reach out and get professional help it depends what level it is You'll find a lot of people in this audience as, as well. You'll find that, and I don't know if you're feeling like this at the minute because we are going through a massive shift, that people are finding that they're, they're helping so many people at the minute, but you feel like nobody's there for you. Are you feeling like that at the minute? Like you're coming into your angelic form now. You, We are shifting to the next homo sapiens, the next level of humanity. huge it's like my cordons have been switched on you feel like you're helping a lot of people yeah it's everything is within with christ consciousness everything everything is within absolutely everything safe home protection we are safe you know look at that so there is dark agendas out there you know you, you hear of it like klaus whatever he's called and talk about will no, own nothing and all of that i don't believe so i believe we'll be fine we're all being tested the question is, are we going to face a real alien contact? And I'm going to talk about this after the break. I'm going to give us five minutes. Go make your, your cup, cup of coffees or your cup of teas and get your refreshments. Give us five. 
and um, I've got quite a large audience in tonight. Altogether, I've got 1,068 followers, like viewers at the moment, which is good, isn't it? That's on both both um, platforms, like, together. I think my 85-year-old mother has been a star being blood in her... Oh, her blood type is also rhesus negative. Oh, it's amazing. We're all here to just help each other. And that's what it's about. A cup of gin, is that what you need, Teddy? But I'm going to do some heavy, more, more heavy stuff after the break. So give us five. I'm going to go for a naughty cigarette. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I believe the all negatives are the extraterrestrials, yeah. What I'm basically saying to you is, we're no different to them. They're already here. And I want to say we are the aliens. And I know that sounds a bit woo-woo. But they are walking a monster as well. And they don't like being called aliens. They find it quite... Low, low vibration, whatever it is. I don't know. They're just, they're just us, which have been born and instead of in a different country on a different rock. Give us five, and we're going to look deeper into this. Okay, so go and get your popcorns or whatever you need.
Okay, give us a five five if you can hear us. I'll turn this big light off actually. Give us two minutes. I must go to the opticians. I think I need glasses. Can you hear us? That's good. That's good. I hope I haven't been too long. I went off to have a make a cuppa because I've been on for two hours. I think, I believe, already, two and a half hours, um, and have a quick cigarette. So I just had like a coffee break. I don't know how long I've been, five minutes? It's crazy how Jonathan Pye tells more truth than the BBC. Don't let me get me going on that bloody BBC. Oh my God. We need our reality back, don't we? We need it back to where it was lovely. Can you remember the day, guys, when we were to watch Dallas on the telly and... I don't know, just... Everything was nice, you know, like the musicals on the television and... But then it would have still been going on. So maybe so we've had to find this out. Drip, drip, drip it in. And it's been very painful for a lot. My mother had glaucoma, so I can't get free eye checks with that. It's long sighted because when I was driving, because I don't drive now, but when I was driving, um, not that I was banned, I just hadn't passed my test. Um, and I was driving illegally. I admit it, I was driving illegally and got chased by the cops. I was driving all over the place. I was driving my ex-girlfriend's Porsche all over Newcastle. Um, but yeah, that's another story. I, I just go into bits when I go for the the test. And this bloody bloke kept following us. I tried different test centres and he kept failing us on silly little things like stalling or not going fast enough or whatever. Or Every centre I went to, he followed us. And um, nine fucking times I did it. It's a joke. If I ever did do it again, it would be, I would have to have a celebration party. So I literally could drive. If there was an Armageddon, I could jump in a car with a set of keys and go off into the highlands and hide somewhere. I literally could. But I haven't got a license. So um, life takes over, doesn't it, guys? You know, I've been doing this and other things and bringing up kids and grandchildren you know got my grandchild and that so life takes over so things are more important now i could buy a mansion with the amount of lessons and bloody tests i've had and over here in the uk i don't know what it's like in the us <laughs> it's um you do it um prevent you do the um what's it called the um you do the first bit for the signs first and it only lasts for two years and you've got to do it again. I mean, I'm thinking if you do a if you do a test and a certificate, it's a certificate and it should last. Anything to make bloody money out of people. I am telling you now, I could buy a house on Darris Hall where I where the amount of money I've given to the the driving people, okay? I'm talking about Darris Hall, it's where all the you know, the posh people live, the big mansions with the swimming pools and that. It's a place in Newcastle. A lot of the footballers live there. All the wags live there. The wags, we call them. It's like the uh, footballers' wives and all of that. You're talking mansions. And I've done parties in places like that. That's for another That's for another story. I'm just chatting to you from my kitchen. <laughs> I'm the girl what talks to the wall. <laughs> We have to forgive ourselves. And there's a, there's a great holy presence. Just exactly what um, Valiant Gordon said here in the audience here on YouTube. I am starting to forgive myself. There is a holy presence, and I don't know if you've noticed this, with different people and friends and family that were becoming more spiritual. I've become really close to my mother. And I'm not saying I've never been close to her, but we have been in friction a lot of my life. Um, and I think that the passing of my brother brought her closer. 
Um, and it's only been this past few weeks. Yeah, do I? Absolutely do I. What that woman's gone through. But by God, we fought through our life. We have fought. And I love both my parents, you know. Um, adore my dad. He's not well, bless him. I believe he was targeted with writing the book, The Truth. If you want the, if you want the truth, it's, it's on Amazon. The Truth written by Heather Jones. What I'll do is after this, I'll put the link in the description of the um, the YouTube uh, video. So you can have a check it out. It's been on the shop shelves twice. The church in the UK took it down. The council are in with the church. Everything, the church is seeped th through the UK, right? Um, not the Catholic church. Well, the maybe that were behind it, the Catholics possibly were for what he was saying. Um, but then he, he um, we, we rethinked it and put it out again. And my poor dad ended up getting uh, diagnosed with uh, dementia. And he's got dementia. But I believe that there's targeting going on. And how far do we think that these energy attacks go, you know? We just don't know, do you? You can actually make, drive yourself crazy around the twist thinking what they're capable of. But I'm actually here tonight to not to give them power. I think that we need to get our power back. So there, there is this great presence of holy forgiveness, what's happening on this planet at the minute. And um, that's where we're at. And I think it's understanding what's actually happening. So when people have talked about that, there could be FFs, do you know what I mean? Flags. Um to do with fake alien invasions. I think that we've just possibly witnessed one of them in a smaller scale, but it wasn't to the people of um, Peru in that little town. I think that was something what freaked them out. So my concern is, and I'm gonna pull some cards out on this, could we experience something in a larger scale? Or is it going to be just intermittent places around the world? Let's have a look. Have you become very close, Katmana, to your mother? Um, I'm not trying to sound like all Bible bashing and that, but I mean, it says all of this, doesn't it? See, I think the Bible was manipulated, but I do believe there's a lot of truth in the Bible and there's hidden codes in the Bible as well. They've already started these fake alien invasions. Yes. Let's see, there's going to be more. Because I think as well, when you get people in, in communities like Ofsted places like that, they're probably going to be more tribal in a way and um, more superstitious. But you've got to understand, we've all got superstitions in us to a certain degree, depending on what culture we've come from or whatever. I mean, I, my culture is gypsy background. We're gypsies, you know, we're travelling... Irish gypsies, you know, where you're talking um, hot-headed, blinking, you know, gypsies. We're very superstitious. We're, we've always been against the governments and things like that. We're, you know, we're not in with society. And then there'll be people in different cultures who will, depending on how you've been brought up. I'll tell you who's got it right. And um, is the Amish people. Because when the shit hits the fan, they're not going to be affected. You know, they're grown their own. They're, 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 they're self-sufficient. And they don't rely on technology to the extent we do. Gavali and Gordon, my grandmother, read the tea leaves. So a lot of you is in the States and that, you know, you're going to be... You'll have some British in you or something in you. We're all different cultures, so it's the same in Britain as well. How you've got the United States, we've got the United Kingdom. It's not England anymore, you know. It used to be England, Scotland, Wales. It's united now. Yeah, different cultures here. And um, it's the same in the US. All different cultures and different religions and... They will try these things, uh, Debbie. 
Debbie's just said in the audience here on Twitch that the, the governments are trying to stop the Amish growing. But they'll try this with us as well, I think, at some point, you know. They've tried it with certain states in America with the chickens. You know, because chicken... Oh, I love that saying, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? But it's 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 constant food for it, isn't it? If you think about it. Are we going to have any more of these events? Let's have a look. Because I believe we will. Let's pull some cards. I've become all snuffly since I've had that cigarette. I need to stop. Well, I've been growing me vegetables, guys. I've got a little vegetable patch in my garden and I've got all sorts of things grown. And it looks like the day of the Triffids out there. I'm quite green fingered, you know. I'm growing all sorts of things. But when I have this cattery done, I think I'm going to have the, the vegetable patch out of the cattery because I don't want them nibbling on things and nibbling through me beaks and whatever. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and me cabbages and that. And me potatoes. Valiant Gordon. I'm half Jewish, half Cherokee. Wow, Indian. And my birth certificate is blank. Oh, bless you. Oh, it must be amazing to have Cherokee in you. Right, let's see. Let's see what's going on. So we've got the Nine of Swords, so that's negative. We've got the World, so there's more World stuff to come in. That's the children. Let's see. Young People, Page of Pentacles, Page... I've got a few different decks I work with, yeah. Page of Cups. It's a little girl. And that looks like a man, but it's the Page of Pentacles. So it's young males, young females. Could be everything what's going on in the schools at the minute. Do you know what I mean? We've got Three of Swords, more conflict. That could be running up to the election. Good God. Hold on to your hats for this next election, guys. You thought the last one was bad. Wait till this one. Deary God, you'll need a stiff drink for the next one. We've got the Empress here, so that's Earth being protected. Balance, you've got the beautiful deer. Have I made that too dark for you? Can you still see that? You've got mother and baby. You've got the Ank. You've got the, the doves of peace. You've got the beautiful lush, lush trees. The rabbit. You've got the, the lamb, the holy lamb. Can you see the holy lamb there? And that's what they're trying to attack at the minute. You've got the, the food coming in, like the, you know, the food of earth. I believe, because I'm not looking into a world predictions tonight, but I'll look at that rabbit there by next Easter. Holy moly. Just remember that. And it's all centred around politics in the US. Holy moly. That's all I'm going to say. I will do is a, a will prediction, like a proper looking glass. I've just never had the time, but this is why I'm doing this tonight. Will the governments, Mary on Twitch, will the governments tell the truth about all negatives being extraterrestrial and when they go... It's going to come out in a scientific way and it's going to come out with doctors or scientists. So yes, but not so much the government. It'll be through a secret sort of space program behind it all. They'll set this off. That's how it's going to happen. <clears throat> there will be events. There will be events. But it's more like stuff happening on the ground. So it could be like weather situations. And when I get this, I'm getting things like... Um, earthquakes. 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 Earthquak
earthquakes, fires, especially like what, what with everything we've been witnessing over the last couple of months. Um, there's a lot of rain to come, a lot of drought. There's there's all sorts of, it's just, and they're going to try and say this is to do with the ozone and we're doing it type of thing. But we know that's not the case. We know that there's more to it than that. All right. It's more grounded, things on ground. We've got the victory card. I'm going to pull some more cards out on that. Everything will come out, but it's going to come out back to front. And I believe that when they explain it, and I, this is my saying I've always said, it's a prophecy I always get, when the man stands in snow, we will know the truth. So it's a case of that it could be like somebody just, who is not from this planet, but I want to see he is here. But he's explaining who he is and it's going to change medicine and everything and it's all about our DNA. That's the way it's going to come out. It's going to come out in a very scientific way. That's the way the good guys are going to bring it in that they want. And there's a timeline of that. That's what's going to happen, I believe. Um, when I say that he's on Earth, he's on Earth but he's extraterrestrial and a lot of them are. So they're not really extraterrestrial now. The the, is it interdimensional? They're already here. So they're like us, but they are, they're just different. So I'm going to do some remote viewing. There's a lot of off-world beings living on this planet. So it's about eating for our DNA. That's what it's going to be about. And it's going to change medicine. So then you've got these big corporations who are the greedy ones, you know, like um, Pharma and that, who will not want this out because they'll want to keep us locked into this thing to keep us numb down, dumb down, cut off, that type of thing, you know what I mean? Um, it's So there's a bit of a fight there. You're not going to completely get rid, rid of it, but there's going to be more um, laws put into place. And because there's a lot of people out there who are on a lot of different things and they can't just come off them, you know, so they, they need them. Um, so it would have to be like new understanding, retraining GPs, retraining, retraining practitioners, doctors on prescription drugs and stuff like that that needs to be looked into because a lot of them are legalised drug pushers basically so it's a case of retraining and restructuring the whole system so it could be a 10 year plan here License in 10 years, yeah. So um, it will come out about extraterrestrial, but it'll come out in a different way. It'll come out in a scientific way. Are we going to get a large event of a scare tactic? Let me pull some cards out. I don't think they can. I think if it was going to... And the reason why I see this is it would be different parts like Peru, different places. They can't pull it out off fully because they're not in control fully. Do you see where I'm coming from? It's just gone boom. They can't pull it off fully. It'll be in intermittent different places. They'll try and pull it off because it's the tentacles coming off, off, right? The cabal. So they're not in full control they're not in full control it's fallen away and it's disturbing the cockroaches so it to me it i believe that the good guys are, are at the top are in control they can't fully pull it off it won't be a full big one of an a fake alien invasion no but i, I do believe there'll be a lot of scare tactics intermittently with different countries or different towns around the world that's what's coming off. They're not in full control. The cabal is not in full control. 
So I hope that's helped there and it's clarified that because I'm getting that really, really strong. There's a lot more good guys trying to sort this out. So it's a, they knew that the system, a good extraterrestrial energy has come in here, but they're not really, some of them are, but more of them are like living here, intercepting with the off-world ones, bringing it all in. And you've got good guys, bad guys up this tower when you get to the, the root of it to find out what's going on. Black hats, white hats, whatever, which way you want to call them. Good guys, bad guys. Right at the top, right at the top, there is this situation where they've been told, clean up or you're out. And when they were all gathering in Scotland, um, can you remember when the, all the different countries were gathering? I, I don't know what it was called. And they, it, they were told, you know, clean up or you're out. And that's why you notice a lot of different people coming away from different prime ministers and things like that. A lot of them are coming away. And there's a clean up happening at the minute, otherwise they're going to be out. You're going to notice a lot of scandals to come, not just with the US. You're going to notice it with other different ones as well, like Canada and other places as well. So the world event thing for a scare tactic isn't going to be alien invasion. So that's, that's what else, what can it be then? Let's see what else it could be. I think they're pushing for another virus. What Jenny Wales has put here, why are they advertising mm -hmm, for different viruses? Let's see if it could be something like that. Give a true answer, Michael. The veil's collapsing, isn't it? Right, we've got the justice here. Okay, so they're going to try one more thing. Um, this is when I don't like doing what I do, but I've got to, you know, tell you what I'm feeling and what I'm saying. Um, I think that they will try another pandemic. I think there's something else coming. That's like man feeling sort of like no hope type of thing. I don't feel it's going to wash. I feel that they'll try and bring something. I don't know if it's a reappearing of the old one, what's going to come in before Christmas. You've got to understand everything's coming to a peak. And if you're coming out of this physical world and you're going into like the angels and demons we've got christmas coming we've got all the holy days we've got thanksgiving coming all these nice things what's ahead of we? and they don't want that the satanists don't want that so they will try something before christmas they will try something okay but look what's happening here there is such a thing as a godly energy we've got the safe home protection so what they're putting out and trying to chip away at with, by making me feel like that, we are protected. There'll be an intervene. There'll be an intervene. Right, so it's saying the, your homes and your, you will be protected, right? But they will try something. That is like running up to the election. It could get pretty nasty. But that's America. That's not the rest of the world. But all eyes on America. Why will it not last long? There's something about a comic energy what's taking place on this planet. It's scare tactics and events as they are going through the switchover and 
if they feel that, oh, how can I put this over? If things aren't, to, to bring a timeline into place, they might have to bring something into place to make it come in quicker. But there'll be an, an intervene of something. And it's quite spiritual and holy. I don't know what it is. I'm not seeing my Jesus as returning or anything like that. It's something which could be on masses if we're standing up for ourselves or it's how we react to it. But it's, there will be at some point another sort of flu-like thing what's going to be out there. I do believe that. But there's going to be an intervene of something. It's the only way I can describe it. We're bouncing up from it. If it's not a germ that they're, they're talking about, it's something to do with where it brings me to a halt for a while and where everything just stops. And that makes me think, could it be some sort of cyber attack where it stops with communication, it stops with technology, with light, with heat? And then the it, that is very possible. very possible so the, they will push and they'll say that this is returned or this is going to happen or disease x or something's going to happen but it'll be okay mark my words it'll be okay in the meantime we could you could be on the brinks of a civil war over the united states of america but that doesn't mean you know again it's a short-lived thing But then I've got, yeah, there'll be problems with the dollar as well. The Russian rubles just dropped and I predicted that a few weeks ago. I says, didn't I? In one of my um, world predictions, I think it was me looking glasses, I said, the ruble's going to drop. And I followed somebody, he's called Dan, I can't give his surname. He, he's a Russian lad and his wife. I followed them on YouTube and um, he said the rubles just dropped or like dra drastically. That's what he said. So we've got the karma card there. So there's going to be a shift of something. They're going to, if they create a situation, they'll allow the bad people to do whatever. See if there was an invasion of something from Russia or China or something or some cyber attack. They'll allow that to happen, that timeline to come through. So then they can maneuver in this technology. The only way I can describe is that describe it as is time is going to stand still. And it's going to be how they talk in the Bible about like the, is it three days of darkness or whatever? Time is going to stand still. We won't even know the time to the ones who aren't synced in on earth. Some people can be, some people can't. Take your, do this as a test if you can. It doesn't work for everybody if they're not working. Remove your your phones, your iPhones and your clocks out of your house for 24 hours and see if you can figure out what time it is. Because our ancient ancestors knew exactly by reading, like back in Stonehenge and that, they could read it with the, the sun coming through where the certain, you know, all of these ancient beings did do that. So some will be able to do this and some won't. But time is going to stop knowing that it's an event what not be nice but knowing that there's light at the end of the tunnel and it's the new technology coming in they'll use that they'll use that i'm telling you so what we need to do is we need to keep calm like we see in britain keep calm and carry on and keep grounded and just Look after my, my, my loved ones and my neighbours. and Because through this, you're going to have like vulnerability. Vulnerability, like old neighbours. People who need help. You know, somebody who lives on their own. Always just try and all help each other. I've always had this great idea that we should have community gardens. I think it's a great idea. And I think that every town should have a community garden. No matter where we are in the world where somebody can donate some land or even ask the councils, you know, where you could grow your vegetables for the, call them people's gardens. 
So it means that you could have youths there, you know, who are uh, helping and old age people who wanted to help out or garden these community gardens. And it just means everybody can have food when the going gets tough. You could even have chickens on there with eggs and people could donate and put into it. And you'd be surprised if everybody got together in each town, in each village, all over the world. I'm getting that song, all over the world. That's what we need to do. Could you imagine? Nobody would go hungry. Well, apart from people who can't reach out to these places like in Sudan and places like that in Ethiopia where the kids are starving, that's another thing. It shouldn't be happening. But you've, you've got people here in, in the West, right? It shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be happening anyway, right? People are starving. They're on the streets. Don't get me going. I'm not going to go into a rant tonight, right? But like people who've they've used these squaddies, these soldiers to fight in their war games. Then they come out of the forces, the armed forces, and they, they end up with post-traumatic stress and they're unwell with mental health. And then they ended up living on the streets, for God's sake. Everything needs to change. Teddy, community gardens in the US during World War II called them vic victory gardens. I think they need to be brought back and I think they need to be brought back for what people are on the breadline. Not, not everybody is in a position where they can just go out and buy food. Over here, I mean, when they raise the gas prices with everything what happened, you know, these rich oil tycoons were getting richer and richer and people over here, the working class Britain, that either couldn't afford to heat their homes or they couldn't eat. And um, this is the worry. And we could face, talking about how they're seeing events, it's to do with weather to come, cyber attack intermittent scary stuff but they can't pull that one off that's what i'm getting it's more weather related or cyber that's what's coming through very strong it's greed it's all down to greed so um there's some, it's not a case of, you know, that it's just all about the government. It's, you're talking, we're all play a part in this. Um, and so when we're going to, we're going to hit bad times with this winter to come. I do predict that this winter will be the storm of the century. And I'm not saying it's close to an ice age, but we're going to get a bad winter for certain parts of the world, what which gets snow and that, we could get a bad winter. So we need to prep for the winter. We need to prep. And try to make plans. For people who are on budget, you know, soups, vegetable soup, you know, get your soup, your big pans out, you know. And how we can look after the community and stuff like that. And nothing more warming and when there's a snowstorm and you've got your vegetable soup and that, is there? We need to think and make meal plans. I always had this great idea of opening a channel. and Because um, I was a, a single parent, I brought two little boys up on my own. And I literally was on the bread line, you know. And um, they always were fed. And it's because I wasn't buying convenience food. I wasn't working like I am now, not to the extent anyway. Um, so I could I could bake and I could cook proper meals, and it is cheaper when you you're on a budget and you you can make. Um, I've got some amazing recipes which are so cheap, and I always have this idea of putting doing this channel, of like recipes on the cheap how you can feed your family. You know what I mean. Um, feed a family of four or whatever and we need to get these this is the type of thing by keeping grounded it's survival instincts and i'm not saying that we're going to be all without light and heat i don't mean that i'm just to be on the safe side to be on the safe side 
and then we can prep and for the winter what's coming. Charity always begins at home, but then if you've always got extra, you can always feed the little old lady down the street or anybody. Just helping people. That's so important. Right, I'm going to put the cards away because it's getting very late and I'm going to do some remote viewing. See where we are at. I'm going to have a little look. Raw remote viewing. What I'm going to do is, I know I look a little bit like a fly when I do that, <laughs> but I'm just going to black, just so I can darken things out so I can concentrate more. And I'm going to look into what's going on with the extraterrestrials at the moment, what's actually happening, what activity is taking place. Are you in China tonight? My father-in-law hunted for venison, but he, I didn't like the smell when I was cooking it. Did you not? I've had pheasant before. I once went to this posh house to do this house party. Um, there were like gentlemen farmers in the country. And I had pheasant. And I was quite... I didn't know it was pheasant um, until she told us. Because I just, I'm one of them people who just eat something and then, because I'm a bit of a gannet, you know what I mean? I'll just shovel it in. And then she said it was pheasant and I was quite surprised how lovely it tasted. It was really nice. Okay. I'm going to see what's going on here. May peace be with you all, Okay. Now this is raw and more viewing. Let's ask Michael for some protection before we go in. Give us the true answers. And my guides, thank you. Amen. Okay. So I'm going to go into hidden locations around the world. Um, and I'm going to remote view. If anybody who doesn't know what remote viewing is, it's like psychic spying. Um, I've done this for military before. Okay. So I've just got to empty my mind here. Right, I'm at the entrance of this huge tunnel. It's like that. And it's very, very windy and quite cold. It's very dark. It's dark. Um, looks like I'm going into a dumb place. Like a big, t looks like a dumb. Like I'm going into a, like a tunnel. Um, I'm just cloaking myself here. Right, so we've got soldiers on either side. Um, I'm getting a Russian energy, like a Russian feeling. The Russian soldiers. I'm I'm walking in, and I get like this burning smell of rubber. It's very remote where this place is. Um, where am I getting a smell of rubber is? It's, it's got something to do with a substance on the ground. I don't know if it's just been recently laying down or just like this 
I don't know, like a weird smell of the the material around this dome as you're walking in. Um, okay, there's this jeep. There's a jeep just gone into it. going all the way in and I'm like floating as I'm going in okay now there's like a guard there with like this guard gate something else there with guards in they lift it up and they go in it's like a, it's a track like a, a road going in one down it's going down it's going under getting a block wait a minute getting a block Right, he's let this go through now. Right, I've just had a cloak there. Right, we're going in. And it's like, it's, it's there's a lot of glass. We're coming to another sort of a god entrance and it's all glass and it looks very futuristic. As we are going through, um, it's a checkpoint, it's a check gate. And it's it's a something division. Um, that's what I'm being given. It's um, it's like we have. I get the feeling that everyone's going somewhere, but not everybody knows this. That's the feeling I'm getting. This is actually now. This because it will be dark now, so this is in real time. So they are checking people in the um the people who are going in in the military it looks like a passport but the passport's got like holographic energy on it to read this this is a different technology it's a, like a different type of passport it's a pass it's a holographic technology on this card and they're passing it to them and they're going in right we're going into this huge complex whoa 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 right so it's on the top level it's on a top level and it goes all the way around and there's different personnel and this this intercom coming over this is like secret secret sort of military I've seen this I've seen something like this before I don't know if I've done something like this on Twitch it's a bit like an airport but it's not an airport it's 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 underground understand this is underground what I'm saying it's underground um, and they're checking people in. There's different sections where they're going. And they're going through this lever. And it's taking them in. And it looks like they're going down into a tube station. I'm going to follow them. But they're on the top level. And then there's, as, as you look over, you can drop down. And it just looks like people are walking around. That's all I can see. And there's like different structures around. Where are we? Where are we? Wait a minute. It begins with a key. It begins with a key. And it's a checkpoint which takes with through to other, the same divisions Kama, Kama, something. Right, 
Right. It begin. It's something beginning with K. That's where they say they are. So it's a very restricted area where people don't always go. People aren't always allowed to go. But they're Russian. Not just Russian. Oh my God. So the, the shown is that there's other cultures there as well. Europe people, all different types of secret military. And now the meeting there, it's like a meeting part, a meeting place. And then they're going off. So I'm going to follow one of them. Right, so it looks like they're getting onto this craft, but it's on a track. It's on a track, and it looks like one of them super trains. You know, like them super trains. It's the only way I can describe it. The very fast trains, and it's very futuristic. It's It's got a pointed front, pointed front, and they're all getting on. And they've got like backpacks on. This is really strange, guys, because they're showing us like you can go anywhere. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Um, from Europe. It's underground. Underground cities. Transporting in time. Right, we're on this train. This is bizarre. This is absolutely bizarre what I'm saying. So they're on these trains and they're going really fast. But they're going so fast you don't even feel they're going. Because it's it's like very super fast. Light fast. And as it's transporting them, they're going through stargates. That's what I'm seeing. They're going through different stargates. It's an interlinking system globally. They are time they are time looping. It's the only way I can describe it. Time looping. And that would that would sort of make sense a little while ago when I talked about Iran or Iraq. There was like this Stargate. Stargate. I'm saying it's still there. I don't know if they're not using it, but this, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know if I'm getting something like Kamazan or something like something like that it's only so this world is not what we think it is we think it's a world with different countries but there's an underworld what can take we in to other dimensions they are traveling through earth Oh my God, they are traveling through Earth interdimensionally. Interdimensionally. So there's a main hub, and I've talked about this before, there's a main hub Antarctica. That's where I had last seen it. That's where I had last seen the circle thing. But I thought there were all these different Jed, I've got Jed here. I thought all the different militaries were enemies like Russian against UK or Russian against the US but in this in these domes they're all together this is elite it's secret programs
right so i've been told that it's certain checkpoints in certain through certain stargates that they can interdimensionally and, and travel to through to space to the moon or wherever this is what i'm being shown So when I've talked about two militaries, it's actually on a global situation and it's the core, it's the rot they're trying to get rid of. So Jed has got like a hold of my hand there and he's actually seeing that the good guys are getting this under control. Yeah. I can see. Beauty. Just so much beauty that we have and we are going to get great downloads. We're going to get over in waves between now and November. <clears throat> we are going to experience great downloads of information. They're preparing us for this. Yeah. I feel like I'm connecting with some brain here. It's really strange. Like a brain of something. They are travelling through different interdimensionally travelling they're interdimensionally traveling, that's what they're doing. Will we be able to do that? Eventually, yes. So there's underground cities everywhere. So everything's been a movie, everything's been a show. To like seeing when we're going to go on to Mars and when this is going to happen and that's going to happen. It's just distractions and shows. It's all happening. It's the cabal in mafia organizations they're trying to clear up. Especially in the US. But there is two organizations that are connected in the US which are good who are doing stuff trying to clear stuff up and they are working secretly behind the scenes because all of these where these dumbs lead were to to the underground cities They are obviously going to the US as well. Space Force is up and running. It's funny because if things go, <coughs> excuse my French guys, if things go tits up for Trump, they will remove him out of the country. To get him away. So I'll try to. There is something happening. There is something definitely, definitely happening. Is there anything else I can see? Yeah. It doesn't take that long to get to the moon. It doesn't take that long. In the cities up there, let's go and have a look. Lots of structures. The traveling is um, on a on a super track. 
and they overlap in different cities. They overlap. So you'd have one highway there, one highway there, and they're so close and they're, they're hovering, they're floating, and they're underground as well. It's interesting. It's, um, then they go under mountains and then come out again very, very fast. They have homes there. They're, they're, there's people living there. They're living there. And I'm connecting with that being again, which I've connected with before. He's very tall. It's just a different one. It's like an elder of there. The elders are meeting the original people what's been there a long time. I'm calling them people because they look humanoids. And they want the good for humanity, but they worry about everything coming out because it's so very protected. They're just very set in their ways. They're not bad people. They worry about everything coming out. Because man has the ability to change timelines and set wars off and to change timelines. They want it as smooth as possible. They are gold mining. They're doing it all over the place. Oh my God. They're, they're mining all over the place. They really, really are. It's all about money. They're very, they are, if you want to say they are extraterrestrials, you say no, no. No, no. I am not. We are not. We are just different. We are the different this is what he's saying the two eyes heart lungs we have just slightly different insides we love we have passion we have hatred the same the same the same the same Transition is taking place on Earth. They cannot hold this back for much longer. Expect events to take place to change the timelines, to quicken them up, to bring in the technology quicker. This may look cruel. This is the way, only way humanity will accept this. We will intercept with our technology to get you used to us. If we come in and show the technology, you will see this is evil. We get you used to our way of life to bring it in. It's the way it has to be. We are not aliens. We are different because you are being fed information. This is so. God's creator has you in, has us in every image of him. It is a time to be excited. It is a time not to be afraid. We will meet you. We can intercept onto your planet. We can come. We have to take great medicines of high advanced technology to intercept. Because if we came just as we are now, we can become sick. But some different people, different, we are different, but some of us who are different, can intercept with you, but not all. There is laws that have been greatly broken 
with technology, with the Stargate material. And they have let the cat out of the bag, as you would say. It has opened the wrong portals of time. They are trying to shut them. To protect humanity. We will come to you if you want you can access this outer inner worlds by meditation. We do not want to change you. We want to show you. We could not change you. We have to show you how it is get you used to it but you are now in the veil lifting you are now in new earth when lands change and weather becomes very difficult have faith do not let the dark ones take away your faith we are not here to take away your faith. The interceptors will not win. And we have been through what you have been through. We have fought the great wars. This is why our, our world is so protected. There is good and bad throughout the galaxy. I will not lie. Just find the love. Because love is the most powerful. Your society must change to bring in the good. I must go now. Until the next time, this is Zaid. Zaid. Goodbye. And you. He's like dressed in, it looks like a morph, sort of tabard thing, like a, a long jacket with a belt. And he's just like an elderly, elderly gentleman. He's a gentleman. And he's nodding. He's like, I am, I am. It's about respect and understanding. It's phasing out now. He's smiling. I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. So it's here. It's definitely happening. It's um, events will take place. A lot of false flags with UFO stuff. The hearings. They'll try and stop it. There'll be a block. There'll be a stop. And then it's all going to start flooding out next year. Next year it will make sense. Disclosure, we are in it now. And there's, it's not just about disclosing aliens, it's about disclosing this rotten core of the beast. And then for the ones who are, have got caught up in the snake, that is their path. But they could change if they wanted to. But some have gone too far down, too far down that dark path. But that's for them to figure out. For us, we stay in the middle and we keep going forwards. We are the God's children. We are all being made from the same source, yes. Oh, thank you.
you. It's just a sun top, but not that it's sunny over here. <laughs> like my shirt. It's rained all the time. The weatherman keeps saying we're going to have some sun. I think he's just lying all the time. It's been like the Amazon jungle. It's, you know, the rainforest. Like the Amazon rainforest. Just raining, raining, raining. I think like I'm going to get, never mind getting some kittens. I think I'm going to get some ducks for me back garden. <laughs> but God night and God bless and may the force be with you all guys. And uh, don't forget, I've figured out, you're going to laugh at this, that I've, I've had some new subscribers come on me YouTube and thank you very much. And um, But I figured out I've got quite a lot more who are watching this who aren't subscribed because you can check it out in the analytics behind the scene so check that you're subscribed or you're still subscribed and um i'll be on soon with more stuff for you and i'll see you um thursday night and you can connect with these beings meditate Listen to music, shut your eyes, stare at a spot on the wall, do it in the afternoon if you can or the morning when it's sunny, it's quite daunting I think when you do it late at night, unless you want to, and then shut your eyes and you start to see the, whatever you're staring at on the wall, you'll see it through your, your eyes, and then you'll start to see swirling colours, and then after that, random faces start coming in. And that'll be your guides, your angels. Call upon your angels to protect you as you're going through. And you'll start to go through your stargate. It doesn't just come in straight away. You have to keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Practice. We're all capable of doing this. Good night. Sleep tight. Stay safe wherever you all are around the world. And I'll see you Thursday. Good night, guys. May the force be with you all. Good night. Good night. What the hell's that on there? <laughs> I'm doing a Rudy Giuliani, aren't I? Remember that when you had the Grecian 2000? So I put pencil on my eyebrows. Remember Rudy Giuliani when he had the Grecian 2000 coming down his, his, his face like that? I got like pencil on my face. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Good night, guys. Bye.